Hello everyone. I hope traders and investors alike were green yesterday. I would like to take a few minutes and go over the day trading watch list. I would like to mention going over the dark pool flow that come in after hours last night or yesterday afternoon. There is over a billion in the SPY. Uh, the SPY is up a little bit right now. So that could be a good sign of some buying. They definitely didn't seem like they cared what Powell had to say yesterday, one way or the other. It, it didn't even seem like it touched the market. I did see a little bit of activity uh, into the queues and, and IWM as well. So we're looking like probably three quarters of a billion for the QQQ. So that's a little unusual um, coming in after hours. Uh, Amazon once again had, had some flow, uh, maybe roughly 250 million, nothing crazy. One big order on Tesla for 293 million come in after hours. All right, so let's get to some charts. Uh, we'll have to watch the price action today to see where the SPY wants to go. So this is AMC. And you can see yesterday we had a big, big rejection wick there. It's trying to push up, trying to hold above these major moving averages now. But that's a lot of uh, selling pressure that come down onto it. Um, on fairly low volume, fairly uh Volume was fairly low yesterday across the market, but that is a big wick, and that wick stands for rejection. So as long as we hold that nine and twenty, you know, we can try to view it in a bullish mindset. As you know, that's actually support. Uh, crude, crude's pulling back to this support level. You can see we've come back and touched this several times, and we push up off of this level. Chart still trying to hold in. This is the put to call ratio. We moved back to the bullish zone at 104. I'm sorry, we moved back to the bear zone. Uh, so the put to call, we went from neutral yesterday, so we are back into the bear zone right now. And we've seen heavy put flow coming in. So NASDAQ, this is the McLaren oscillator for the, the NASDAQ, and we are at a positive. 48 which is uh neutral the mclaren oscillator for the new york stock exchange we're at a negative 50 which is neutral you can see this is the 50 moving average right there we're coming into it now uh, the u.s dollar still still pulling back um this is actually good for the market and is a sign of uh you know so when we see this Pulling back, you know, it's a good chance. It's a sign that we could see the market try to push. It actually got below the nine. Putting in a nice handle there, though. VIX also pulled back, so we are now below the 30 area. Haven't checked it this morning. Um, but the 30 spot's a pretty big spot. The 35's a huge area, but we are now below the nine. See how it acts today. If we can continue pushing lower would be an awesome sign for the market uh you know we've been saying we're, we're due for an oversold rally here just so much we've seen so many big moves down last week uh we need a corrective move to the upside uh apple it right into the nine ma yesterday uh so the nine on the daily charts is a big spot for a lot of names right now you can see abby abby uh they come after the, the healthcare, the big pharma sector yesterday. We've, Abby has had two really good days. Let's go look at the daily chart. So we were bearish on this. We're right into support here. Um, and or I'm sorry, we're into resistance and pull back. So let's watch it from here. Uh, see what we do today. If we can get above this level, I would be uh, bullish on it again. Uh, they are coming after Big Pharma. Maybe they've gotten over the bad report. Uh, maybe the market's gotten over the bad report. And 
the uh, lawsuit. If we can get, if we can continue on this uptrend and take out this uh, prior high here, then we can be confirmed in a new trend. Now, when you're confirmed in a new trend, it doesn't mean automatically mean that we're going up. It's just that trends over. We're going to start a new, a new set of price waves. AMD, they're not just not been favoring AMD. You can see the weakness here. Not a huge candle, red candle, uh, flat in with yesterday's candle. The nine is steady coming down to apply pressure on it. Not been going after the semis, you know, as as much. Uh, a firm here. So we were on bearish, we were bearish on a firm with this diamond pattern. We broke below it. Coming back, testing support, the nines right there. Um, you can see the wicks, you see the wicks at this support level, which I'm sorry, is actually resistance. Now support becomes resistance. So now it's actually a resistance level. The nine is also resistance. A firm, uh, once again, this is the 15 minute chart. Decent day yesterday, but the range was fairly tight versus uh, Tuesday. You can see we had a, made a nice move Tuesday right into this resistance level, pull back, we gapped down, pushed back up, didn't even uh, attempt to take out Tuesday high, but still had a nice push. AMC, this is AMC's 15 minute chart. You can see, so you can see the push and then the pullback. That's what's leaving us with a big wick. As of right now, we are back above the support level. Um, and it looks like as of right now, we are above the 50 on um, the 15 as well. So that's a good sign. Um, that could come down. We need to, to push on that for that to continue up. This is AMD. You can almost see a double top here on the 15. We did manage to take the 200 out. See the 200. We stayed below the 200 Tuesday. Uh, yesterday, we managed to get above it, and we closed back below it. Looks like this morning, it, it is struggling with it to try not to get above and hold. Amazon. Uh, looks like we're above the nine here, so the 20 would be resistance. Had a nice day at open and then got pulled back really hard. A lot of stocks did. Uh, some stocks held it better than others. You can see Apple here, nice push right into resistance, prior level of resistance, and filled this gap. Uh, there was a little teeny bit of a gap left right here. Uh, no, I apologize. I, I see the wick. That gap was filled. I was thinking there was a little teeny bit left, but that was previously filled. But we come back to uh, the prior level of resistance right here, the top of this gap. Tested it and got pulled back. Boeing. You can see Boeing... You know, we had this nice move up, put in this tabletop, and then took a move down. So you can see a low, a high, a lower low. If this is working out to be a lower high than, than this one, and that's exactly what it's looking like, then, of course, you know, we expect to come down and put in a lower low. So this is Boeing's 15-minute, and you can see how it is putting in a lower high here. So we could be getting ready to go into a downtrend. We'll have to see what it does today. Oh, this is BMY. I added this. I just wanted to point out that they are coming back after Big Pharma. Uh, we've seen it yesterday. We're back above all our major moving averages. We still have this resistance level here that has been tested. You see we have a big wick here, so we need to be cautious. Wicks are a sign of rejection. Uh, let's see what we do today with it. If we can get above this uh, resistance level, a uh, BMY could probably have a nice push to the upside. Cliff has just not been doing very well, considering pulling it off the list. You can see it's just not, it tried to flag. And, uh, this candle thought there might have been some rejection. Putting in this candle, you're starting to see, it looks starting to look more like just flagging into the nine. And yesterday with a gap down, we didn't even wait on it. Uh, just to point out that CENX is a aluminum company who yesterday they come in, uh, they released a statement saying they were closing the 
Kansas plant for nine to 12 months. Keep an eye on AA because they're in the aluminum business as well. So they could be struggling just as hard. It could be a, a, you know, like a one-time thing. It could just be something that they're doing or not doing or something going on with their company. But there's a good chance that uh, AA could be seeing some problems as well. CVX pulling back here. Keep in mind that CVX is also uh, a Buffett back company. Buffett owns a stake, or at least did own a stake in CVX. I don't know if he still does or not. Um, MACD's bearish here. You know, we're outside of the Bollinger Bands. CVX is in a, you can see this big candle. I'm not really sure what's going on there. That could just be a, a bad information, a bad print. But you can see we gapped down yesterday, come back, filled it, and we're pushing down. Exxon Mobil, same thing. We gapped down. Looks like there's still a little bit of a gap here. I did see some dark pool on a few oil names. Uh, I did also see some dark pool stuff on some EV names with that GGPI news today that may, uh, some some of the EV names may rally. Uh, I'm uh, referring to uh, NEO probably had the heaviest, but there was a little bit of uh, XP in there as well into the dark flow. A GME. This is actually, depending on where we're going here, this 200 resistance. If we cannot get above this previous high, then, you know, so we have a high, a low. We put in a higher high, then all of a sudden we're putting in a lower low. So there's a lot of indecision right there. If this cannot put in a higher high, then we can expect this to go back into a downtrend. Not seeing much in that MACD there. A GME chopping around here you can see uh, uh, we found resistance in this area once before we come right back into it yesterday seeing resistance again and you can see that we did not take that hot the previous high out uh, the Q's trying to bounce off this wedge right into the nine or, or nine moving average Decent volume yesterday, better than the day before. Um, but that wick right there is a sign of rejection. We need to take out that nine. I do believe we possibly gapped over that this morning or pushed over that this morning. QQQ 15 minute chart and you can see we're trying to push up. All right, I don't think we took the nine out yet. Let's see where it is this well let's see where it is right now or say possibly possibly having a hard time getting an exact number on it possibly we are above that back above that nine a TLT. Now, this I did see a lot of dark pool flow coming in on. This is trying to push up here. You can see we've been choppy, real flat this week. Now we're trying to push. We're above the nine to twenty would be the next level. This would be a huge help. This MACD is trying to turn bullish again. Would be a huge help. It's it's been a while. Look how long it's been since the MACD has been above the zero line. So we could use a big push here. Uh, Draw a downtrend on this, and looks like we're testing it right now, possibly. But we need to take that downtrend out. Bonds pushing up would be a big help for the market. We're seeing some decent signs oversold with the put-to-call ratio. Seeing the VIX pull back and the U.S. dollar pull back. If bonds would push, maybe we could get this rally we've been searching for or expecting to get in the market. Uh, you know, not going to new highs. Uh, Anytime soon, just the market's still in, still in bad shape here. So uh, we're not like hoping to see this, you know, straight back to new highs. But hopefully we can get what uh, an oversold rally, bear market rally, what, you know, some of the, one of the terms they use for it. Um, IWM had about 220 million worth of dark pools coming to it last night. You can see we are. Good morning.
market update. Advancing the market update, S&P futures up 4.50, the Dow futures down 25, NASDAQ is up 56.25. Crude is down $1.75 at 104.46. Gold is down $5.80 at 1832.60. Bitcoin futures up 395 at 20,500. Coming up this morning ahead of the open, earnings from RAD, Rite Aid, RDHL, Red Hill Biopharma. After the close, FDX, FedEx, and BB, BlackBerry. All right, so back to IWM. That was a nice market update by Charlie. Thank you. Uh, back to resistance here. This bottom of this flag here is resistance. The nine's coming down. You can see we tested it and got seen rejection. There's our wick. Got seen rejection Tuesday. Yesterday we pushed up, never quite made it back to the uh, resistance level. See what it's doing this morning. See, it's still trading pretty much flat right now. I want to take another look at the SPY. SPY is trying to hold the VWAP. It is back above the it has pushed back above the VWAP on the five this morning, and it's trying to hold that. So you see the IWM gap down. We come back, filled it, basically tested this previous gap in this area, and seen rejection. These gaps, you know, we warned about these yesterday. Uh, they are resistance until they're breached. A lot of people see a gap and they automatically think gap fill. A gap is actually action resistance until it is it is breached. I view gaps a little differently. Um, we can def I, you know I definitely use them. You know they're another tool in a toolbox, but I don't just see a gap and automatically expect a gap fill. And you can see MRL. We didn't even quite test a gap. Well, there's a wick there. Could be considered. Some would say a gap filled with that wick, but I would say that's probably a bad print. Bad information coming in. So Meta, this is the wedge I've been talking about. And you can see, I'm trying to get another chart up. So Meta is holding flat basically with uh, yesterday's levels, uh, after hours levels. You can see we closed below this wedge here. And let's go look at the 15. So you can see where we pushed up yesterday. This had a strong move. Uh, we got word that it was Kramer was uh, maybe Zuckerberg or somebody was on CNBC from Meta. So we had got this push up and it just faded right after, uh, not too long after open. I don't think it was very strong yesterday. Uh, you can see where we've pushed up into pre-market here, right back into uh, this 50 here, struggling with this 50. Um, so it still looks like we are under that wedge. As long as we stay below that wedge, you know, got to have a bearish mindset that it's going to take a bigger move down. Not really sure what this market's doing right now, so we do need to be careful. Microsoft's trying to push into the nine here, re right into a resistance level. Let's see what we can do here. You can see the volume on this level has quite a bit of volume. So this could be a, a pretty big area. The nine's letting us know that, you know, there's a big level there. It's already there. Need to take that nine out on the daily to continue to push higher. MRO pulling back with the energy names. Watch this support level it's coming into. Uh, Oxy, I didn't put any tags on this one. All right, just got some news. Uh, last night we found a, uh, a some orders by Buffett. Buffett has increased his Oxy position, so he, Buffett's buying a dip here. You know, I don't recommend buying the dips or anything, and not at all, ever. Uh, even in a good market, I'm not a dip buyer, and I just don't recommend it. Um, stocks go down for a reason. And you just never know the reason just to come in and start buying a dip. In my opinion, is reckless. Uh, I believe in trading and I believe in tactical trading. Um, but you can see uh, we pushed around a little bit yesterday, pushed up. Uh, it was a fairly flat day, but definitely stronger than some of the other energy names. But Buffett has bought the dip. You can see we're back at support. 
looks like we're just a touch under that support there and we need to get back above it for oxy to push seeing the, the histogram and the macd fade out palantir had a very nice day yesterday it pulled back some at the end of the day you can see the wick there and macd's crossing i like this chart right now um this uh rising wedge which is a bearish pattern we broke out of that then we put in a little base here and we're pushing up this little flag some people would call it a flag but it's really it's like a little base we gapped up over top our moving averages you can see the moving average is turning up to, to push the price up to 50 is resistance there so be careful with the resistance also if you were to draw this line you would see that 50 is telling you basically that this uh previous gap it's going to probably act as a resistance level as well. The 50 is already letting you know there's an area there. You can see Palantir, uh, huge day yesterday at open. You know, after that initial push, it didn't have any more gas in the tank. But we did, we had a nice push up and then it pulled back. Could have got a second trade there, could have got a trade to the downside, several different trades there. It's easy to talk about a chart when you're looking at it when the price action is in and saying you could have got a trade here. It's a whole different story when the price action is being put in and you're trying to get a trade. So far, we are fairly, uh, you know, it, it pushed up yesterday at the initial open and then just chopped around and faded back out. It's like it coming, came back down and tested the opening candle, the bottom of the opening candle. That's why it's it's so difficult to do the live trading and live commentary like we do you know it's so easy to come on here and talk about a a uh, chart that's already where the candles the price action is already put in it's not that easy to do it when it's live you, so there's periods of times we have no idea where it's going to go you know i have to wait for confirmation candles to actually know where it's going to go so you got so far down here watch this level of support nine's coming down on it and you, so basically you have, you know, a high, you come down, you put a low, you pushed up for a high, low, pushing up for a high. Watch the support level. I feel like maybe not. I felt like I missed something there. And here's the spy. The nine, once again, here is resistance. You can see this this big wick here. Uh, we opened up, tried to push this morning a little bit, just tried to push up a little bit. And uh, so it, it opened up, tried to push, and it's pretty much flat right there on that 50. On the 15, we need to get above that. If we can take that out, we can look for a bullish move. You know, then we're looking for yesterday's high. There's also some gap left over here. It's not much. There's a little bit of this gap left. We still have a gap below us. And there's there's previous gaps as well. We'll get them drawn as we get closer to them. Uh, we talk about them on on uh, in the Discord. You know, every morning we're looking for levels that could be in the way. I'm uh, putting up a spy chart real quick. So... 371.16 we're holding that level good that was the level we've been been focusing on the last few days we've been hanging out right there uh, either above it or below it so right now we want to hold above 371.16 our fifth level for the day so tesla we actually back above the moving averages here back above the 20 we haven't been back above the 20 much in a while you can see we tried to get above it here never really held it and was pulled back right into this trend. Now we're above the trend, we're above the 20. You know, we still have our 50 and 200, but we're back above our nine and 20 here. Tesla could push. Um, I don't like seeing that wick, that's a sign of rejection. Being above those levels are uh, a good sign. So we pushed here right into resistance. Um, put in a tower top here on the 15 and pull back so 736 34 
was just about or high. I can see some wicks where we went a little higher. Got some decent trades out of this yesterday. Some nice moves. You can see where we retested. Took this support level out. You can see a wick where it come down and retested that level. And then push back up. So right now, the you know, we're looking good right here, right now. Uh, this first level here of about 711. No, hold on. We're above that. I'm thinking of 711.03, but we're above that right now. Uh, I think it was 7, the next level. So the next big level to worry about is 725.45. We have to take that out to be bullish this morning on Tesla. We are still a little below it. It's a, a fairly big area. Um, but you can see low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low. See if we can push up today. It's a good a, a good chance. I mean, we've seen a lot of wicks there, or a lot of wick on that daily chart. See where we go with it. UNG uh, natural gas has been taking a beating. I may take this one off. I've said that a few times. Uh, upstart tested this downtrend, holding your your uh, nine here. Still a chance as long as we hold that nine. You can see the MACD is flat. Need to take this downtrend out so it can push up. Upstart 15 minute chart. You can see uh, lower a uh, lower high here, lower low. Almost flat there, but we definitely have a lower high. So that downtrend obviously is a big area. Wells Fargo into the nine, seeing rejection, seeing a wick. Uh, we may see the banks pull back again today. You can see it's trading very flat this week. The last two days have been pretty flat. Not a lot of love there. Uh, Exxon Mobil, we are back below the support level. You can see we tried to push. And pushed right back into support. You can see the wick. Uh, now, I'm sorry. Now it's resistance. You know, what is support here? We got below it. Now it turns into resistance. MACD is bearish. And we're trying to push up into it. And unable, you know, unable to. Got rejected, rejected yesterday. Uh, crude being down this morning. You can see this is Zim's. 15 minute chart, uh, pretty pretty bad looking there, pretty poor. Zim's daily chart, we're below the support level here, below the 200. Back to AMC. Well, I hope everybody has a good green day. Good luck, everyone. See you in the trading room.